Can I go to Bali? Oh, what is that? What is that? Ming Yang doesn't know. Didn't know that. Oh, We're going to Bali for Easter. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me Sarah X Miracle, it's been a while. Today I wanted to share with you more about going to Bali because travel is opening up. Everyone has been dying to find a way to go overseas for a break and so have we. Last month we actually went away to Bali for a long weekend and we wanted to tell you here's how it went, what you expect, pre-departure requirements, what happens when you get to Bali. And of course, we're going to show you how we enjoyed ourselves. Inez did not come with us. And it was just us and the boys, but it was still really enjoyable and memorable. I hope that you like this vlog as much as we like going to Bali. This is our Bali 2020 vlog. <laughs> So traveling to Indonesia requires you to take a PCR test 48 hours prior. There are no official age exceptions. It's just a little tickle up your nose, okay? <laughs> so we are walking to the swap station to get our PCR. Me and Daddy did it just now. So in the end, we paid for all four of us. It was $88 each. Very kindly, the lady actually did a cheap saliva swap for the baby instead of the nose one. Usually they exempt infants up to one year old and so I was wondering whether or not Erin needed to take one. What happened Leon? Go to bed! Okay, we're going to reach the swap place soon. Auntie Isa, okay? She's very kind. It will not be painful, he's scared. She'll be very gentle. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Pain? Mouth so pain Pain? It's not pain. What was that, Leon? That! It was good! I think that this lady is very good because she did a cheek swap for the kids. If you did no swap for baby, I'll be super concerned. We knew that we had to pack certain things for the baby. We have been packing progressively and today is the day before we go. We lots and lots of diapers. I think we had like 40 pieces. It's a bit excessive but it's better to be prepared, right? Because you don't know where to buy diapers there. Thermometer, cleaning cloths, moisturizer, cleaning liquid, baby wipes, one whole new packet. Antibacterial wipes. I actually went to get this on Carousel. It's actually a Spectra S9 Plus. I also bought tons of sunblock. I don't know why, I just thought like I needed a different sunblock for everyone. So I've got different types of sunblock. This one has like 0% chemical for babies. This one is not 0% but looks like Leon could use it. Keto repellent and baby like multivitamins and his probiotics. Uh, we'll also be bringing some Zyrtec for Leon, like the little like Zyrtec drops for children. And lots of clothes! He has three full sets of pyjamas in here and like I think about five or six sets of clothes even though it's only for three days because you never know when the baby's gonna turn either clothes or like soil it somehow with poo or puke or pee. We will be bringing his pillow and his soft toys as well but we are not packing it yet. As you can see over there, I have not finished packing. This used to be white. It's become yellow. So we have this foldable tripod. It's really neat. It goes into this cute little bag like that. Just for this trip, I had to buy a steam sterilizer because we actually use a UV sterilizing cabinet. It's a huge thing. We can't bring it along. Picking up half of my suitcase. Don't forget to buy ART test. So I bought 10 packs because we're already four people. And this is actually a book. Me and Mark, we have been making an effort to take quarterly retreats. We started writing the, like our dreams for 2022, but it's incomplete. I think, you know, everything that we're going through, like especially the new baby and all that, has also really changed our perspective on what we really want for the year. So we're going to relook really our dreams. We even have a vision that we wrote to share a model of family life and love and to weave a greater story of family. Yeah, so every child, like we had a little page like dedicated to, you know, <gasps> Leon. Oh look, Aaron has the least written for him, poor boy. Sorry Aaron, we'll write more for him when we go. And we have Leon too, who has his bag packed. Let's just see whether he, what, what else is he packing? So Leon's got like a lot of swimming stuff. He's got his floats, he's got his swimming costume. He's got, this is our slippers and sandals for the whole family. This little float for Aaron. It's cool. Boy, Jay, and Kai, and the Samurai. We also got sent a new travel stroller 
from Baby Zen. So I want to thank Baby Zen Singapore for making that happen just in time for the trip. I would say that this stroller was really good for being able to navigate like the narrow pathways of the Bali sidewalk. Highly recommend it. Please check them out. Last stretch. Bye bye. getting ready to go to church because it starts at 10 and it's like 9 50. my dad sending us and then he's going hello <laughs> this is my mom she's entertaining leon <laughs> Going to change money. Do anyone tell me about what happened just now? They recognized me from TikTok. Can what did she say? Bump. He said he always sees me on TikTok. Aww, did you say <laughs> thank you for watching our videos? We yeah. did. The queue is so long. Leon's eating a snack, right? Oh man, it's closed. I'm sorry, Leon. I'm literally feeding the baby and walking at the same time. I'm really slow. Hi, baby. Airport. We should have just come to the gate instead of waiting at Yakun. It was so dumb. We waited so long at Yakun. This is the best ride ever. Yeah, it's the best ride. Except that now we're stuck in a very long queue to go in. Oops. We queued at Yakun and now we're queuing again. Pub flying for the first time in greater than two years. Flying. No, we're going in really fast on the runway. Oh. We're in the air. Look at that, it's Singapore! Bye Singapore! Okay, we made it. We made it to the plane, baby's feeding. And we managed to get all the luggage on board, including the stroller. So that was good. Leon, what do you like about the plane? It's good. It's good? What are you reading? The safety card. Yeah, very important to read the safety card, right? Okay. Perfect. The rice is not bad, but just there's no protein, so I'm um, kind of disappointed. And it was 12 bucks. Just now we had soya chicken, and the soya chicken it actually wasn't too bad. The sauce is not that bad. They actually had real chicken pieces. We landed, right? Yeah. We're I'm excited. Cool. I hope the Cheta was here. You wish Cheta was here? Mm. Yeah, me too. Arriving onto Bali, we were met with a huge block crowd of people who did not download the app, which is equivalent to like a Trace Together app. It took us an extra half an hour just to get past that checks of vaccinations and PCR departure tests. So we're in the priority queue with the babies and everybody. Uh, it's a big mess here. Hi, hey, you've been very patient. Thank you. And Leon has been very patient too. Just got word from the official over here that Six and below doesn't need a PCR departure test. So six and below means like on birthday or the year. Six because my, my son also six. So actually my six. other son also no need, is it? Six, yeah. He's not yet seven. So six and below no need PCR. Yes. Even so my son below. also my son also no need. No, no. Baby also no need. I could have saved 88 times two. If you wanted to take the chance, you may not need to actually do a pre-departure test for children six and below. I think we have finally cleared it. We didn't need to put our stuff through the exit machine. So now we're trying to make an exit to find the driver. Okay. Uh, I sent him a picture of me because I'm more obvious than him. Uh, we found our driver. We made the booking on Cook. So August WhatsApp me and it's very smooth and he's here to find out. Which hotel are we going to? We took a pit stop to buy SIM cards and 
there's some kids over here. Yeah, where are them? That is a serious statue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's only five. Yeah. Yeah. It's only small. Yeah, first time. First time anywhere. <laughs> Ocean View Suite at Alila Simonyak, Bali. <laughs> Baby one. Hey guys, we've just been spam fifty sing dollars for buying two sim cards that don't work. Tell you that oh wait thirty minutes. No 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 no. Internet and like connection should be working instantly as activated. There's no such thing as thirty minutes. This is lies. Selling like expired or like used numbers or something. Yeah, they and, like, just see that we're tourists and then they just take advantage. Ah, well, God bless them. Maybe they need the money more than us. One, two, three, go! <laughs> what was that, Leon? was not so hot about swimming he did not like that swimsuit at all so yeah I feel a bit like waste of money but you know you never know right because it's supposed to be like what thermal swimwear la uh, UV protection la <laughs> you know all the things that they tell you honestly ah, yeah. now I know why people just bring their baby into the pool in diapers because that's essentially what we did we're here with baby Aaron Leon and daddy are still at the pool but baby Aaron is coming to his normal, you know, last feed and bath time, so I'm here with him. He's been really honestly very good so far because on the plane he doesn't complain. So this is like his massive proper feed for the day before he goes to sleep normally, but we've got to go for dinner. We have not eaten lunch, not a proper lunch. I'm a bit hangry actually. It's nice to finally, we can see like just be literally by the beachside. I'm so glad we chose this. Compared to just having like a normal villa, I think just being right next to the ocean is so beautiful. So thank God we can be here. We just had only enough time to use the pool before we went for dinner. Oh my gosh, they gave us Ambon. This is so nice. Mm. I came here three years ago. And then I don't know what I ate. We went to the beach. Now we are in a private hotel. What did you want for dinner? So I drank a teeny weeny bit. I couldn't really drink too much because I'm breastfeeding. This is Daddy's absolute favorite dish. It's called tuna tata, right, Daddy? And Leon really loved the food that they gave him. They made him some really nice pasta sauce. Do you like this restaurant? Yeah, I like the pasta. Yeah, and even the pasta looks so good. Amazing. Oh my gosh, just thinking about it makes me so hungry. What did you get? Chino. Show me how you drink your baby Chino. I'm oh, so grown up, this boy. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> Is it nice? The foam, look at the foam. Nom, nom, nom. Um, someone is living the life. Nom, nom, nom. What's your best part so far? Um, oh, the swimming. Love it too. Jump, Where are we? Yeah. What are we gonna do now? We're gonna go back to my mommy and baby Aaron. And we're gonna walk quite a quite a while, right? Is it a long walk this morning? How do we prepare for our walk? I need to carry you. Okay, you wear your sunglasses first. Mm. 
Okay, look at the camera. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Very bright, beautiful day. Happy day. Happy day. Everything carry, everything is carry. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. This is what daddies have to do when we go out. Huh? So big already. Almost seven years old. Let's just carry him until we cannot carry him anymore. There will soon be a time where he cannot be carried. I am doomed! <laughs> Why are you doomed? It's so near, Leon. It's just up there and to the left. Ah. I was trying to do a vlog with the camera, I held it up like that and I said, Hey Leon, say hi! He was so cute, he was trying to say hi but he had also gotten his little orange juice drink. In that split second moment, he pulled it and it just spilled all over because it just toppled because he was holding the straw and trying to turn his head to me. <sighs> and he cried and we made a mess on the table and we had to clean it up and... You know, accidents happen, and I'm so sorry, Leon, that that happened. But we'll get another one, okay, Leon? Yeah. 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 Leon's deconstructed that dirty burger. Yeah, one of the nicer restaurants for brunch. If you haven't been there, I would recommend highly the fish and chips because the tartar sauce is amazing. Singaporean couple in Bali restaurant. The tartar sauce is really good. Right? It's got like real dill inside. It's got sour cream. Okay, come on. Okay guys, we're putting sunblock on the baby so that baby can go with us too. Oh yes, we're gonna put his on the back. Put his back, baby. Look at his eyes! Um, baby Aaron's first time swimming without that that horrible suit that he didn't like. We tried, he didn't like it. Yeah. Yeah. And he really, really enjoyed just actually floating in the water with me. Hey, baby. He's done to the music. He's happy now. He's just going to take a shower. But it's in a very big shower. It would be really important for him to start being more exposed to water at an earlier age so that he isn't afraid of it. Wow, wow. look at the baby, it is awesome! I love it! We're looking for seashells. This is all we have so far. She said, he's there. having a good time. Looking for shells. There's the art. Found one! Found one! You found one! Where? 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 Oh, such a baby shell. Young Bobby! Second day! And what are we doing now? Relaxing by the beach. Hi, Daddy! <laughs> Hi, baby! So, we're waiting for our food. Mommy and Ian are going to the beach. Yeah, we're gonna walk by the beach because mommy hasn't gone, right? Shall we go near the water? It's very fun! Yeah! It's the funnest place! So we cannot splash too much, okay? Because we're already showered, okay? Just up to our ankles, okay? What does it feel to be like on the beach again? Cool. I think the massive difference between here and just on like the local beaches is that it's so peaceful. We don't have a sense of that Singaporean hustle at all. We didn't have any private beach experience until now. I would love to take a stroll with Mark on the beach, just two of us in there. So this is Alila, that's where we're staying. That's Potato Head Club. And that's W all the way on the other side. Very, very nice. It's not crowded and messy. It's really beautiful. Okay, Mark's calling because the food is coming. Has come and so I'm walking back. It's such a privilege to be here. Look at this. It feels like heaven. Wow, God, this is beautiful. Thank you, God. Alright, our food is here. And we didn't order too much because we have a dinner reservation next door. Then it's still steamy and hot. And Leon's eating none. Oh, that's you. Oh wow, that's yes. Oh there we go. You know you want that. 
hit the belly. You can see we are just kind of like just lying down and eating. It's been a long day of swimming. The bedtime routines never stop even when the kids are overseas. Mark still read books to Leon, you know, we still kind of said prayers, you know, put him to sleep before we did, we could do our own thing. We put a spare phone in the baby cot with a Zoom recording. The baby camera couldn't access the hotel Wi-Fi because the hotel Wi-Fi was like a gated kind of thing, right? Where you can join the network, but you have to then, you know, enter your login details, right? Like your room number and everything. So I don't know why it doesn't work with, with our baby monitor, but we walked for about 30, 40 minutes and the kids were all asleep. It was fine, like, you know, the boys sleep well and we managed to get out our little, like, couple time. <laughs> That. <laughs> I think you just cut out my ass. <laughs> A very light stone. Oh wow! Oh my god, this is so Volcanic cool. Stone. You should give it to Leon. Volcanic stone. It's very cool. You'll love it. Okay, we'll get to the end tomorrow. Wow, that's a baby good. Chino. That is flat part. Are you happy? Wow, the croissant's yummy, eh? <laughs> okay. Very hot today. Pretty strong the waves. He really loves it. Okay, we're going to go to church today. We're actually waiting for our ART test now before we go to church. So we booked it with the hotel and they're going to send a medical provider to come to our room to do it. We were actually surprised to find out that the ART test offered by the hotel was actually cheaper than your online teleconsults in Singapore. In Singapore, it costs at least $20 to $25 without an ART test. But in Indonesia, with the hotel, they actually already provided the AIT test. They came to our room. It was super convenient and it was cheaper than Singapore. I think it was like 22 Sing dollars, including the AIT test. <laughs> Day three, we wanted to go to church because it was Easter Sunday. And it's so huge now with so many people, very international feeling. So if you're in Bali, you're looking for a church, I highly recommend Kingdom City. Uh, go up to the website to look at the latest location. Did you have fun at the Easter service? Yes. There was live music there, like two musician guys, like multi-talented, like they play guitar and keyboard and everything, really good voices. The food is like okay, okay? It's not like fantastic food, but I think you really go to Corner House because you want an atmosphere. To oh yeah, that looks good. I want that one, that is so cool. You look good with Kaka's old sunglasses. What do you think, Kaka? Good. Oh my god, you guys look so cute! <laughs> Thank you, Leon. He likes you. Oh, you are really funny. Oh, no, no, no. So big. Hi, Tala. This is really short, so really cute. Look at it. Mm, this 
had to go back to the US for a while because we were supposed to do a photo shoot. Photo shoots are a way that we like to commemorate the growth of the family and to remember the feeling of what it was like. A lot of people like sometimes wonder like who takes these photos of you and I'm like guys we pay people to take photos of us. Yes, if you're in Bali, do a photo shoot. <laughs> Our last dinner there on day three was at this nice place called Kaum. Food was actually really good. There was like this like duck. Oh my gosh, so good. And we spent uh, the evening just like chilling in our room. We didn't go for another beach walk. We decided to stay in and then pack because the next day we had to leave for Singapore already. So technically our trip was so short because there were two travel days and then only two full days in Bali. Why do you like the beach? We can come again soon, okay? Yes, yeah. Alright, I love you. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye! Hi, everyone. I like the beach days. And the pancakes that they make are good. So kind, the porter helped us to bring your bags all the way up. He wanted a tip. <laughs> and I'm just saying that he's so kind. Oh, what a photo. <laughs> so we are bypassing the queue because we got Scoot Plus. So maybe you should consider getting Scoot Plus. I'm trying to check in and they say we need to fill up a Singapore arrival card. Yeah, and then from Oh, to declare the health declaration form. It's 10 o'clock and we just cleared immigration. because I'm in the unvaccinated traveller section, special assistance lane and still waiting to clear and the boys have gone on ahead to split up because they are both vaccinated I think, I mean, I think that's why they split us up Cool, cool right Leon? Later, go down to your high, okay? Later, you'll see your face, okay? 120 cm And I would just keep going back. Bali is always a place of rest for me. It feels like so familiar and yet so welcoming as a place. I, I really look forward to going back again, perhaps without the kids. Maybe we're just Mark and we could, you know, be a bit more adventurous and, and do a bit more. Since it was our first time traveling as a family since COVID, you know, since the end of 2019, I'm really glad that the first trip we went to was Bali. If you like this vlog and if you like our family, I really hope that you will subscribe to our channel. We do our best to put out our family vlogs about what we do, what, what we feel, how we think. And you can also follow us on our other social media channels like Instagram and TikTok. So this has been our Bali vlog. Till the next time, I'm Sarah X Miracle, your miracle mom. Bye. Another reason to go. What, the PCR test? Yeah, I've already done it. Well, it's going to be the norm for travel right now. Everyone has to go with a method. But it's so itchy.
Painful. Did you did you do it? Why did you do a PCR? Why you thought COVID? I had COVID, but I didn't. Oh. That time when. Okay, kids. Well, we had to do finish it. your dinner. Finish oh, your dinner. Oh, Aaron, finish your dinner. <laughs> <laughs>